Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Fecal Occult Blood Test, FOBT. Introduction. A fecal occult blood test is used to screen patients for colorectal cancer. The test helps detect the presence of hidden blood in the stool, which is one of the first warning signs that a patient may have colorectal cancer. Your doctor may ask you to have a fecal occult blood test, or FOBT. This patient education tutorial explains why the test may be performed, how it is performed, and how its results are interpreted. Colorectal cancer. The FOBT is most often used to screen patients for colon cancer. This section gives you some information about the disease. Cancer that occurs in the colon or rectum is called colorectal cancer. The colon is the large intestine. The rectum is the end of the digestive tract from where stool is excreted through the anus. Millions of people die from cancer each year. Colorectal cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer-related deaths in the world. The earlier colorectal cancer is detected, the more successfully it can be treated. Polyps and cancers tend to grow slowly and may bleed from time to time. Sometimes this blood is visible in a patient's stool, other times it is not. Hidden blood in the patient's stool can often be detected by a screening test like FOBT, which may give a warning sign regarding potential colorectal cancer. Fecal means stool. Occult means not seen by the naked eye. Therefore, a fecal occult blood test, or FOBT, detects blood in the stool that cannot be seen by the naked eye. If an FOBT detects blood, however, this does not necessarily mean you have colorectal cancer. Many factors can cause blood in the stool. Your doctor will order additional tests to diagnose the cause of the bleeding. How to prepare One type of FOBT is called Guaiac Fecal Occult Blood Test, GFOBT. Because colon cancers may bleed only from time to time, the GFOBT tests two or three separate bowel movements over a period of several days. This increases the chance of detecting small amounts of blood in your stool. Some foods can cause the results of GFOBT to be a false positive, which means it appears that there is blood in the patient's stool even there is no blood in the stool. You need to avoid these foods two to three days before the test. Turnips, beets, radishes, horseradish, artichokes, mushrooms, broccoli, bean sprouts, cauliflower, apples, oranges, bananas, grapes, and melon. The blood in red meat may also cause blood to appear in a patient's stool. Therefore, you should avoid red meat two to three days before the test. Iron supplements, aspirin, and vitamin C can also affect the results. Avoid them. Your doctor may ask you to stop some medications that could affect the GFOBT test results. These include colchicine, iodine, antacids, or boric acid. If you have your menstrual period or have bleeding hemorrhoids, do not take the GFOBT. A newer type of FOBT is called Immunochemical Fecal Occult Blood Test, IFOBT, or FIT. This test is more sensitive than GFOBT, and there are no dietary restrictions. You may only need to collect one stool sample for IFOBT. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. How it is done. The fecal occult blood test, GFOBT or IFOBT, is one type of colorectal screening test. The test can be conducted in a doctor's office or at the patient's home. A small sample of stool is placed on a chemically treated card, P, 
pad or wipe, then a chemical developer solution is put on top of the sample. The card, pad, or cloth may change color to indicate that there is blood in the stool. The procedure for testing blood in the stool varies depending on which type of home test you have. It is important to follow the manufacturer's instructions provided with its test. Always check the expiration date on the package. Read the instructions that come with your test carefully and follow the directions exactly. For many tests, you will use stool samples from two or three different bowel movements two or three different days. It can be unpleasant to collect a stool sample. However, the test has no risk and is an effective way to screen for cancer. Another option for detecting fecal occult blood is to buy a flushable reagent pad or tissue kit. You don't need a prescription for this test. Place the pad or tissue in the toilet bowl after a bowel movement, usually over three days. The pad will change color if blood is detected. Note, products that are used to clean or deodorize the toilet may contaminate the FOBT testing kit. In some cases, you may need to repeat the test if the stool sample card touches the toilet seat or other objects that have such chemicals. Results For some tests, if the card changes color, this means there may be blood in your stool. This is called a positive test or abnormal results. If the card does not change color, this may mean no blood was detected in your stool. This is called a negative test, or normal results. If your FOBT results are abnormal or the test is positive, your doctor will order follow-up tests to check for the causes of bleeding, if any bleeding is confirmed. Follow-up tests may include colonoscopy, upper GI endoscopy, or sigmoidoscopy. If the FOBT is positive and additional testing does not find blood in the stool, this means the original test was incorrect, or a false positive. Because many foods and medicines affect GFOBT results, don't be anxious yet if you have a positive GFOBT. Wait for follow-up testing to confirm it was a true positive. The test may have been affected by another condition or food you ate. If the FOBT is positive and additional testing confirms blood in the stool, this means the original test was correct or a true positive. This still does not mean the patient has cancer. In fact, the majority of patients who have a true positive FOBT have bleeding in the digestive system that is not caused by cancer. If the FOBT is negative but later on other tests find blood in the stool, this means the original test was a false negative. Because early colorectal cancer does not bleed all the time and some colon cancers do not bleed, an FOBT may be negative when the patient actually has cancer. That is why your doctor may recommend repeated testing over time. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary A fecal occult blood test is a screening test that helps to detect the presence of hidden blood in the stool. It is mostly used to screen for colorectal cancer. The test can be performed at home. If the card on which the stool sample is placed changes color, the FOBT may be positive, which means traces of blood were found in the stool. If an FOBT detects blood in your stool, contact your health care provider. You may need additional tests, such as a colonoscopy, upper GI endoscopy, or sigmoidoscopy to confirm the bleeding and find its cause. In most cases, the bleeding is caused by medical conditions other than cancer. The FOBT screens for colorectal cancer but does not diagnose it. Many foods and medications can affect a GFOBT, causing it to be positive. Prepare for the GFOBT test by halting the consumption of such foods and medications. The earlier we detect colorectal cancer, the more successfully we can treat it. Regular FOBT screening saves lives. Your doctor can recommend how frequently you should have the test, which depends on your age and your risk factors. Thank you for using Explain.